Hello, welcome back to our tutorial series where we learn the basics of Unity and Unity C Sharp while creating a game. In our last tutorial, um, we created a jump feature to our cube, which looks pretty cool. Um, and now we're going to create coins that we can uh, collect, and we're going to add a little functionality to the coins as well. Uh, so to get started, we're going to open up our code. And here we can see that uh, we have our functions and all that fun stuff. And one of the things I talked about was on collision stay. And I said that's part of the physics engine. If a collider uh, and rigid body um, hit each other. And so we're going to also use something similar to this when I said on collision with that mi minus stay um, to actually collect coins. And we're actually going to use a couple other Unity features, so that'll be pretty cool. And without further ado, let's get started. So, uh, on collision is a void. It doesn't return anything, so we're going to do void. And it's going to be a special on collision. It's actually not a collision at all. It's a trigger. Now, what's a trigger? Wait, you know, messing up things on me and stuff. Well, here you go. In our scene, uh, we have a box collider, and there's a little checkbox called on trigger, which means in uh, something that you can visually see is when an object touches another, it will go right through. So right now, when I hit play, you see how the cube uh, is, you know, touching the ground. It doesn't, it's, it doesn't go through it. Well, if I made the ground a trigger. I'd go right through it. And that's pretty cool because we'd want to go through our coins and not touch our coins. And that would make a little appealing, you know, like magical, mystical. So we're going to do on trigger and we're going to do on trigger enter. So on enter means when the object enters the other one, kind of explanatory there. So let's do that on trigger enter. And one thing about on trigger enter, one object always requires a rigid body. Both require a collider. And with those two parameters met, we can go further. But remember, you always need a rigid body on trigger on collision. One of them at least needs a rigid body. So after that, we actually need to pass something through it because on trigger, we need to know what are we hitting. You know, so to do that, we're going to make open parenthesis and what are we hitting? So it re honestly requires, and the reason I'm stressing this so much is because it took me a while to figure this out. It requires another collider, right? Where t two objects are touching. So if I go off paint, two objects are touching. You know, what object are we touching? There's no way to determine that without catching. Simply, our code is catching the information. So it's catching a collider um, right here. So it's catching a collider. And for the sake of code, we have to name it to utilize it. So we can call this anything. You can call it your best friend, buddy, right? So we can do buddy. All right, it doesn't matter. <laughs> And here, and that's terrible naming, you should probably call it something, you know, interesting when you're creating a game. But for this point, you need to remember this, it has to be solid in your mind. Anytime you're using on trigger, you're going to remember Buddy and how he was a collider. Um, so after that, we're going to say, if Buddy has a special tag, and if you remember, I went to Unity, I went on Edit, and I went on Project Settings, I got one on um, tags and layers and here's our lovely tags and layers oh it's so pretty you know oh, you just want to squeeze each little layer and each little tag um, so what you want to do is specify a tag so we're doing uh, so the coins will have a tag called coin um, so let's do that here we're gonna do if buddy so Anything that touches that our collider is called buddy. Doesn't matter. It can be called, you know, it can be a coin, it can be an enemy. 
we're storing it as buddy. Just, you know, that needs to be uh, solid in uh, your brain for future use of this. Uh, buddy dot tag. So, dot tag. And what is the tag going to be called? Well, he said it's going to be called coin. And we specify coin, we specify strings or anything with uh, quotation marks. Because they're, you know, it's speech bubbles. They're strings, they're words. Um, and I'm going to open a, the brackets. So if there's a coin, let's do something cool. And we're just going to destroy the object. So we're going to do destroy. We're destroying the object. So I'm pretty clear that we're doing destroy. Um, and we're destroying buddy, right? But we're not destroying the collider. We're destroying the whole game object. And to do that, game object transform and all that are static variables, which means they do not, they, everything that affects them is state affected. So, for example, uh, if I change the game object here, it changes everywhere, right? So that's what a static means. It also gives us the property to hit period and just go game object. So as I did here, I said dot get component. That's not wrong, but you can simply also just do dot and then call it. So you can do game object dot transform and that would give us this right here and unity likes to change it up sometimes so rigid body used to be a nested function and it wasn't and there's a couple things but for the most part they're static right here um and that's how you can call any static variable as well so we're destroying the uh, buddy's game object sorry buddy and we can make a little public float or public int public int uh points right and we're going to make it equal to zero just for the fun of it. It could be equal, it equals to zero by itself if it's public. Hit save. Control save just in case. And right before we delete this object, we're going to add some points to our point system. So points equals our current point value. So points plus five and uh, semicolon to say that we're f done with that line of code save now let's go into unity here we have our player we have our ground and so on um, and we can um, simply add a coin and this error right here we can or this warning right here we actually I actually know what's uh, the problem and that is, I'll tell you in a second after we add this coin really quickly. Um, so game object 3D sphere. So we're making these coins. I'm gonna go move it out here. I'm gonna shrink it right, like that. And as you see, if the client, if we said that uh, we're gonna do just normal collider, uh, the game object would stop here. But otherwise, it's fine. We're gonna just make it pretty flat. And we're going to add a color. So right click on our color folder, create material. Let's call it coin. And in our sphere, let's call him coin. So I just clicked and held coin. And let's drag our coin material to that game object. And let's color it. I don't know. What sounds good? Uh, gold. Everything is just going to be really gold in this. <laughs> Let's make it yellow. Um, and let's give it the tag. So we're going to cl click on tag right above in our inspector, right under the name. And we have to add the tag. The tag hasn't been created. So add tag. We'll go back to that. That's the shortcut to our in, uh, you know tags and layers. Hit that plus button. Now spelling is important. So I spelled mine coin with a capital. And there you go. So now we go back on coin on tag and there it is our new tag coin uh, and we can actually duplicate this little sucker our our buddy <laughs> um, 
right? And now when we hit play, I'm going to click on our player just so that we can see our points increase. I'm going to turn around and go through. And I'm not able to go through. Uh, and that's because I forgot one thing, and that was to make these spheres triggers. And that's how I knew right away because it wasn't, you know, we weren't going right through it. And the, so let's make them triggers. <laughs> Hit play. Now magic will happen. Bam, bam, bam. And our points are 20. Now we have this lovely error um, that if we, if I, the ground isn't being used. And that's because we can keep on jumping in space. We don't want that. So really quickly to give that rule back, we're going to go to our code right here. And where we have if input button, we're going to add another statement to this. We're going to say if we're jump, if we press jump and we're grounded. And to do that, we just do the and sign. So two and signs saying this and this. This and what though? This and grounded equals, and you want to put equals true, but we're not setting a value, we're just comparing. We're saying if it is equal, so equals equals uh, true. And that's why there's a two equal signs here as well, is because we're not setting it we're just make we're just checking if the conditions are right. So anytime you see two call signs, they're conditions. Hit save. And now like magic, we can only jump once. Okay, so that is it for this part of the tutorial. Uh see us in part eleven where we make the coin spin and we start working on our enemy.